Welcome back to Gothic 3. Uh, we're continuing to complete Monterra. I say Monterra. We are in Monterra, uh, but we're completing up Mert Mertana because we're going to head to uh, Verant soon. And uh, one of the quests that we've left open, or I have uh, left open, is Merrick wants Bradley's slave list. First of all, I want to make sure that this is Merrick. That is Merrick. Okay, Bradley was the guy down here with the uh, with the slaves and the people who were getting up on the list and all that stuff. That's not Merrick's or Bradley's place. Where is Bradley's place? Is this Bradley's place? Nope, not Bradley's place. Hmm, where is it? It's not there. And a lag spike all of a sudden. Is that Bradley? That is Bradley. I hope no one caught me. Let's talk to an orc and make sure. Nope, nobody caught me. Don't cause any more trouble here. Man, we were here so long ago. It feels like. About the mercenaries. This is Bradley's list of slaves. Mm. Looks all right. I guess Bradley is cleared then. Here, for your effort. You better take this list back to Bradley right away. Hmm. Oh boy. What's the problem? You simply stole it from him, didn't you? <laughs> well, my friend, this is your problem. About the mercenaries. I've got the rent from Dominic. <laughs> Great. Scared the living daylights out of that lazy pig, did you? Keep the gold as your pay. I consider the payoff well worth it. All right, bit of experience there. Wait, why do we not have shadows? I guess it's an overcast or something? Eh, either way, let's go talk to... What's his name? Bradley or Dominic, I can't remember which one. Bradley. Here is your slave list. What? What are you doing digging through my stuff? I ought to skin you alive. Now you have your list back. Don't do that again or you'll regret it. And that was a nice peaceful ending. Let me quick save again and we will look up another quest to do. What do we have in here? Kill the cattle in the stockyard. I don't plan on doing that. That's just a... It's like a trap quest. York. Where is York? 20 bundles of weapons. Do we have 20 bundles of weapons? We have one. One bundle of weapon. One bundle of weapons, I mean. New man for Nemora. Yeah, where is that guy? Clear out the orcs on the farm west of Trellis. Uh, Hangley the farm raider. Let's see. Not sure what the, what the objective of that quest is. Who's the boss in Nemora? Wow, there's a lot of stuff here that we haven't done. Hmm. Uh, let me look up what there is to do. Alright, next up is Nomura. And where is the teleport store to Nomura? There it is. They're really out of order. I wish that they'd be in the order that you encounter them in. There's going to be a lot of teleport stones by the end. Alright, first things first is uh, we have to figure out who the boss of Namor is. That's what we were doing. I sort of gave up on that. There's apparently a guy camping on a hill near here or something. Uh, you're supposed to talk to him, kill some bandits, then escort him back to Namora. Anyway, I believe it's up this way. Yep. Oh. A what is that? Wild berry. And what is that? A sunweed. Every little bit helps. Are those dead? Did we kill them? I guess we did. 
Hmm. Yeah, I think I remember killing those. You kill them just like anything else, uh, just backstep and slash at them while they uh, try to attack you. All of them are the same. Snappers, Ripper Beasts, Boars, Rhinos. Okay, where is the guy on the hill? Can we get up on that hill? Surely they don't want us to get up on that big hill. And there's nothing back that way. It would only make sense that it'd be up here. But... I don't see him. Hmm. wonder how you get up on that hill down that way. Because I don't believe you can get up on that hill. You see how all those passes have those rocks on them. Maybe you can. Let me find a way down. Have I mentioned before that I like the uh, the layout of this? Not really the layout, just the... Uh, I like the aesthetics of this area. Not really deserty, really, you know, mountainous. I think the rocks look really good, like better than the other textures in uh, Gothic 3. Let's just mountain climb real fast. Come on, get up there. Surely you're meant to get up here at some point. Hopefully we'll see a monster. And wow, look at this. <laughs> I guess you weren't supposed to get up here. At least uh, the lack of anything makes me think so. Though remember that uh, mountain behind Geldern? It had stuff on top. Alright, so from here we should be able to see where the paladin guy is. And I bet it's that cliff right there. There is a ton of bandits camped out in this little ravine. Just a ton of bandits. Oh wow, look, off there in the distance, it's Verant, the desert. And look at that little shack on the hill. Why have I, why do I not remember that little shack? Wow, this is a cool little area. Look at how big the desert is. Look at all that stuff. You know, all of a sudden the game makes you look really small. Alright, where are you, Paladin? I actually don't see him yet. It's very odd. Let's see, we come down this way and turn this corner. Said he was camped out on a hill. I mean, these must be the hills they're talking about. What's attacking me? The bandits below, probably. They can't reach me, though. Surely it's not that hill up in there. No, that's like the edge of the world. They wouldn't want you to go up that way. What's attacking me now? Let me look around some more. Hmm. Something tells me it's in this direction. Yeah, it looks like you'd think that it'd be that thing right there that I'm looking at. Because... It has to be, you know, it has to be accessible for him to walk to the bandits. Let me go check out that shack up overlooking the desert. I'm very curious about that. It's a big ravine. Yeah, there's actually a smoother transition than you'd think into the desert. There's like this whole sub-region right here that's all mountainous. So did they do this for aesthetics or did they plan on you actually getting up here? Also, this is a great view of the desert. <laughs> that's just a skeleton, wow. It's funny. 
and it's playing the theme desert theme. Don't you love it? You know, Kai Rosencrantz did a great job with the, uh, what would that be, Arabian sort of sounding music? Just a great job with it. We will get there soon. I'm looking forward to it. And that first town is uh, Diego, by the way. Oh, and also, did I sell the armor that it gave me? It's the shadows from the old camp. Uh, now I know what that is. Gomez was a jerk. I like the part where if you tell him, uh, you know Iberian, he kills you right there on the spot. That was a cool little game. You get really overpowered at the end, though. Okay, bandits down there. The guy's looking at me, I just know it. They really have this whole area just, uh, t they've the bandits have this whole pass clogged up. Alright, still looking for what's his name on the hill. Oh, don't really want to fall down there yet. Hopefully if I walk close enough I can get to where I can see where he might be camped out at. I mean, I'm sure those are the bandits that he's talking about right there. So, where do you see that's nearby that he'd be camped out at? Or maybe I'm in the completely, just a completely incorrect area. Doesn't look like he's up there. Let me head back to Namora, I guess. Hopefully on the way back I'll see him. It was really nice getting a little look at the desert, though. I really wish they'd, uh... I mean, I'm looking forward to Risen 2, if nothing else, just for the music. Not to go off topic, but, you know, this is sort of a dull walk back to, uh... Namora, and we are just sort of looking for something, but... Anyone else uh, excited about Risen 2? I've seen the gameplay videos. The combat looked pretty, uh subpar actually but you know it's in developmental stages it'd be wrong to look at it right now I think the best thing you can do when uh, you're waiting for a game to be released is just read about it just don't watch any gameplay videos just read about the game then when it's released look at the gameplay videos because things change so much I mean, look at Gothic. They Gothic 3 is what I meant when I said that. They didn't have the combat done by any stretch. I mean, they just barely had down the feature where you, uh, only a few enemies would engage you at the same time. And I am really uh, concerned about the lack of the paladin camped out uh, up here. And there goes my timer. Wow. Where is this guy? Uh, huh. Let me step down here. He may have been... I, I don't think he was on the other side, but he may have been on the other side. Is that a snapper? Why is there a snapper still alive up here? There, that's done. I bet we have uh, just a ton of teeth. That is the snake sound, I believe. You're about to die. Who's about to die? Oh, there we go. This is the paladin, I bet. And who's that guy? He's going after the, the deal. Who's he fighting? Once again, please, 
Hashishi. Alright, now I remember what they're called. They're the Hashishins. What I was curious about is uh, if that's a play on Assassin, or... Uh, because I think, like, the, the spelling of Assassin is, like, a uh, Hashishin. Like an alternate spelling. Or if it's for the drug, you know, Hashish. Both of which is sort of, uh, you know, Arabian, Middle Eastern, from what I know about them. Still got it. Still got it. Okay, what do they have? Hashish and bow. It's worn. Definitely doesn't do as much as uh, what we're using. Fanatic Hashishi. So I guess they just roam up here and attack people randomly. Either way, we'll talk to Carlin in the next episode and continue with our cleanup of Mortana. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all 